So now let's see how we can browse elements and then add in elements inside of the picture inside of Pixlr E. So in order to add in elements, uh, I'm going to go around into file and you can see that I already have a picture here. So I'm going to go to file right here and then once I go to file, you can see browse elements is an option. Once you click on browse elements, this is what you see. So you can select out border, stickers, shapes, overlays and then add it in. So let us start with the overlay right here. So once you go into overlay, not everything is uh, free. Some of them are premium. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate the one which uh, with the ones which are free. So I'm going to go around into abstract lights right here. So you can choose the light effect that you want to apply onto this image. Let's say, for example, if you want to go around with this light right here, just click on it. And then what you can do is that is applied right here. You can, you can decrease out the transparency, increase out the transparency, rotate it around right here, just like this. And then you can flip it up and down as well. And once you do that, you can go around and close this out. And this is the transparency uh, that is, this is the element that you have. You can disable and enable the element out. That is because this is a layer. So if I were to go around into file right here, and if I were to go around into browse elements, then I can also choose a border. So I'm going to, let's say, for example, go down right here and I want to add this ink border. I can click here and there you go. The border is added and you can work around with the transparency and there you go. So immediately you can see that now there is a picture effect that is applied. You can go around over here onto file and then you can go around into browse elements and then you can go to shapes. And once you do that, you can see that there's different shapes that you can add as well. So let me just bring in this heart shape right here. Click on this. And then what happens is that the heart shape is there. You can work around with the transparency, close it. And since it's a different layer, you can resize this and place it wherever you want. Same is true for any other thing like here. You can resize it, put it anywhere you want. You can go around right here and put it anywhere you want. You can go around right here just like this. You can resize it, place it anywhere you want. So if I were to go into elements right here, there's other type of element that is shape. So you can go around over here. This is a shape. Let me go just go to stickers now. And on the stickers, you got uh, the uh, these elements. So I'm going to go around right here, select that. And then you can work around with the transparency, of course, close it. And then you can place it wherever you want. So I'm just going to go around right here, uh, go around onto this one. And then you can see that now all of these layers are here. So let me just hide all of these. And then I can select this, place it, and then enable all of these back again. And that is what you have. You can go around, place it wherever you want. And that is how you can work around with browsing elements and then by adding the elements onto your existing pictures inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.